All right, so we're back for the second half. Now, remember, now these, uh, yesterday's lesson and today's lesson, these aren't super easy lessons. So if you haven't, if they're taking you a long time to do them, take a break. Um, ask me, some of you have been reaching out on Schoology, asking me for help. I'm trying to help you out right there. I'm trying to help you out as much as I can. Um, I didn't assign these lessons. These are lessons that everyone is doing, all the fifth graders in the district are doing. So uh, if you want to maybe get on the phone with each other and kind of help each other out, that's awesome too. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to get on here a few times a week to uh, do a video or post a you know, post something that I can. Like yesterday, I posted some um, hints and tips tips on my Schoology on the updates. So hopefully, you kind of saw those. If you're not on Schoology, uh, go to my calendar on the my website, the staff websites, and uh, I'll try to post everything that I post on Schoology to my calendar as well on the days that we're, that we're going with it. So this will be posted there too. Um, so number three, Alberto puts three kinds of fish in his fish tank. Uh, zebra danios, fancy guppies, and catfish. Half of Alberto's fish are zebra danios. He has two times as many catfish as he has fancy guppies. Alberto's friend Jackson says that one-third of Alberto's fish are catfish. Is Jackson correct? Draw a diagram and explain your answer. So for this one, when I saw the two times as many, uh, one-half as much, and I said to draw a diagram, I thought that I could draw the box method. So that's kind of what I went with. So I figured out which one he has the least of. So you have to figure out which one he has the least of. So it says half of Alberto's fish are zebrafish. So that means that that's probably a lot of them. So we're going to save that for a second. He has two times as many catfish as he has fancy guppies. So if he has two times as many catfish, does he have more or less catfish? So he has more catfish. So then that means he has the least amount of fancy guppies. So how many boxes does fancy guppies get? So give it... So if that gets one box and the catfish is getting two boxes because it's two times as many. So from there, then we could kind of figure out everything else. So then you're seeing how many boxes you have already. Then it says half of Alberto's, zebra, uh, half of Alberto's fish are zebra danios. So kind of think about how many boxes are there already. Think about if I double that, how many boxes would I have in total and how many boxes that this, would the zebra danios have. So then you could have a, a, like that box method strategy that we talked about for the diagram. Then it says, Jackson said, one third of the zebra fish are catfish. Is he correct? Well, think about how many boxes that you have there. Doesn't necessarily mean that's how many fish he has. But the boxes can help you out. So think about how many boxes they are for the catfish. Think about the total amount of boxes. And is that one-third? Yes or no? Uh, part B says one of Alberto's zebra danios is four-third is four-thirds the length of one of his fancy guppies. Which fish is longer? So it's four-thirds. So we're thinking about the strategy we talked about. When we multiply a number by a number that's greater than one, less than one, or equal to one, what's happening? Well, this fish is four-thirds. So thinking about four-thirds and comparing that to one whole, then you're able to kind of get your answer there. Uh, and finally, number four. Alberto feeds his fish the same amount of food each day. A two-ounce jar of fish food flakes has enough food for Alberto to feed his fish for 100 days. A. How many ounces of food will Alberto need for 110 days? So 100 days is two ounces of fish. So he needs it for 10 more days. So 10 more days. Think about what is 10 to 100. 10 is one-tenth of 100. So what is one-tenth of two? Think about moving the decimal point one place to the left to find out what is one-tenth of two. Then add that to the original two, and then you'll find your answer. Then it says to explain how you found your answer. Uh, part B. Alberto is thinking of buying a jar of fish food flakes that will last 110 days. If he does not change the number of fish, how many of these jars of fish food flakes will Alberto need to buy in one year? So think about how many 110 days go into a year. So think about how many he would need to buy. Would he need to buy two, three, four, five? How many would he need to buy? 
So you're thinking about how many 110s to get the 360. But remember to think about, to keep that in mind, that reminder, and how to interpret that remainder, not the reminder, how to interpret that remainder, and you'll be able to figure out how many jars he'll actually need. Um, so I hope, like I said, I hope that kind of helps you guys out. Uh, if you want, please reach out to me. I'll help you out in any other way. Uh, I'm going to post the answer key for yesterday's work uh, in the materials in the uh, on the Schoology and, and on the calendar as well. Um, I hope you guys are hanging in there, um, having fun with your family, getting some family time, going outside if you can, trying to keep away from everyone, keep the germs to yourselves. But uh you know, we're in this together. If you guys need anything, if you want to even just talk, just reach out, let me know, and I'm always here for you guys, all right? I miss you. We'll see you guys soon. I'll talk to you uh, later on this week.